Hey guys, welcome back to another podcast. My name is Alex, and this is the second podcast of the channel. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Um, I'm joined here with my friends Renil and Ian. I'll be your host, and we're just going to have a good time. By the way, just to let you guys know, we're all on the FaceTime call, so if you know we start to laugh and everything, it's all right. Okay, let's get a little bit about ourselves. <clears throat> my name is Alex. I'm 17 years old. I'm born in San Diego, California. I do YouTube, as you guys already know, and I joined on April 26, 2015. That's when I started the actual channel. And I have over 50,000 views, which is like something I am truly grateful for. So thank you for you guys. Let's go on to Renil. Um, my name's Renil. Some people call me RJ. I'm a multi-sport athlete. I'm 16 years old, and I play Xbox. Mm. All right, and let's go on to Ian. <laughs> Sorry. All right. It's all right. Um, well, my name is uh, Taylor. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Ian. I'm 17, and I am the oldest of our friend group. Um, I know how to play six instruments, and I am learning how to sing a lot better. I'm big on martial arts and cooking. Um, just like Alex, I do have my own YouTube channel. I started on... August 26, 2014. So there's a lot of cringy videos on there. And my most popular video happens to be a Minecraft video. So, hey. <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah. Um, I'll put his link in the description for you guys. His name is Shade of Night, and I really do recommend his content. His content. Anyways, now if, it, if we start to laugh and everything, like I said, we're all in the FaceTime video. <laughs> it's okay. Right now, Renil is making a pretty stupid <laughs> face. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let's go on to the first subject. So we're going to talk about our childhood memories. So I guess I'll start off. So when I was seven years old, by the way, these memories and everything, we haven't even told each other, and we're like the closest of friends, so you're getting our true reaction. You know what I mean? Anyways, <clears throat> when I was seven... I, I was biking with my friends in Maryland. It was like, I was biking. It was like me and two other guys. His name was Nick and Tristan. And what happened was we were doing like a race or something down like the road. And then like what happened was we were biking and I accidentally like tail ended or whatever it's called. One of my friends, Nick, like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the tire, the back tire. What? And he freaking flipped over and he broke his Yo. knee. He freaking hurt his Ooh, knee. And guys, I remember, like, wait a what minute. happened? <laughs> All the power in my house just went out. Like, my computer is still recording and everything. But literally, my whole house just got dark. My computer turned off everything. Turned <laughs> Damn. Off at that moment. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, continue. We're, we're continuing. Going. We're continuing. That was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So... We were biking. I tail ended him, and like he he really really hurt his knee really badly. I think he broke it, and I felt that was like the first time I've ever felt guilty. Like I was so guilty and like so freaking sad, dude. It was crazy. Like he sat there with his knee, and like I remember I circled back, and like he's freaking crying, dude. Like <laughs> it was so crazy. Like I, I feel bad. Be like what do I do? <laughs> yeah, I freaking like, dude. Like, it was really, really bad. And I remember, like, I remember I was just so guilty about everything. And I freaking rode my bike back home crying. I hid underneath, oh. like, we were in we were in Maryland, right? So we live in Maryland. And this was before. We were in, like, a house. So our house, we had, like, a balcony area. I hid underneath the freaking balcony for, like, <laughs> for, like 30 minutes. <laughs> because I was so guilty, right? And so my mom, she finds me and she's like, what are you doing underneath the balcony? And I was like, I said, you know, I really messed up. I hurt my friend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just, it was just a crazy experience. My mom, she told me to go back to his house and just, you know, apologize, which I did. So I like, I walked back to the house. I remember. And like, like, I remember seeing Nick, he was there on like the, whatever it was, it called the pullout sofas or whatever with his knee. And like I was like I was crying dude because the mom like opened the door. I was like, I'm so sorry about everything and like I said, I'm sorry, Nick. And then he was like he was like, It's all good, no worries. 
And the mom freaking like sis, I was crying so much. The mom offered me an ice pop. <laughs> <laughs> She's like here, how about here? Have a have an ice pop, and I was just like, yeah. I just remember going back home, and that's like the first time ever as like a kid I felt so bad for someone, you know. Anyways, that's one of my stories. Who we got next? Any one of you guys can go on. For you, go ahead. All my stuff just I gotta pull it back. Uh, this one's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but um, I was in third grade. I was a pretty big wuss, like, when it came to girls. Was? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, I had a crush on this girl, Hannah. She was, like, this tall white girl, like, muscular and thick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, at recess, we'd be, like, racing around the track and stuff, and, like, doing pull-ups. We were always beating. And then, like, her friend came up to me one day. She said she would pay me twenty five dollars if I would dance with her. Whoa, oh, what? dude! Easy twenty five, bro. Easy twenty five. I said no. And oh my! <laughs> so God. I ran away oh, and then I just God. never talked to her. After that, <laughs> you pulled it, bro. You pulled it. I'm oh. sorry. You like I, it. like I sprinted like across the playground to go away. And <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Oh my gosh, all my stuff all just right. got deleted. Alright, Taylor. Ian, what you got? Oh, bro, all my stuff got deleted. Hold on, give me one more Give Someone tell one more story and I'll, I'll be back. I gotta, I gotta write everything back. Because I literally lost everything. The whole screen is being weird. No, no, you're good, you're good. Okay, so I have another story then. For, um... This this one's kind of a quick one. But it's it, this is like a really embarrassing <laughs> moment. So... I was playing football with my friends, and, like, I remember there was these two guys that I knew. Their names were Kobe and Keely, something Kobe. like that. And they were they, they were in high school. And remember, this is still when I was, like, seven, eight, nine, maybe. I don't remember. But I remember, like, we were playing football, and I went in to tackle, like, the quarterback, which was Keely. And this guy is, like, freaking, like, from what I remember, dude's, like, freaking six feet tall. <laughs> like, he's skinny. <laughs> He's skinny, but he's, like, six feet tall. I'm here freaking, you know, nine years old at, like, what, like, four foot something or something like that. And I tackle him, right? And then I remember, like, as I tackled him, his freaking foot landed on my face. He stepped on my face. (laughs) He stepped on my face. And I was like, dude, like, I couldn't, I didn't know what happened. I just, like, started to cry. (laughs) I was like what happened and i remember he like picked me up because you know i'm light and everything and he like ran pounds. back to my he freaking <laughs> he ran back to my house right and he knocked on like the door and he talked to, he talked to my mom about it. and you know they're cool because we're all cool like that my mom she shows me like a picture of myself i have a freaking foot plant on my face like on my <laughs> cheek i was like what the i was like what the hell <laughs> But yeah, that was just like, you know, that's, it's normal, you know, as a kid getting hurt and stuff. But that was just really, really funny. I remember. Yeah. All right. Ian, you still need more time? No, I'm good. I got I got to know. All right. right. I got I got (laughs) I'm an interesting kid. So I got a scale of embarrassing, which I'm trying to hear. Whatever one you want. Whatever one you want to tell the people. Well, uh, let's start with, um, I'll, I'll start with uh, sixth grade. So I I went to this school. Right? I went to a school here in Maryland before I moved to this county because I moved to I moved to this county right before like a week before I started high school. So I was in sixth grade and they had this mandatory thing where all students were had had to go to this camp for like three days and it was called outdoor ed. And you had to chill, and you have like a group and all. Outdoor that. ed. Yeah, it was called. It's outdoor education. So it was like it was like camping, oh. but inside. I was thinking of like a guy named Ed. <laughs> Outdoors. <What? laughs> <laughs> Only yeah. you. So, I'm chilling, right? And you weren't allowed to have your phones or anything like that. So you just have to talk to people. And it was this girl there, and I was like, "Huh, she's kind of cute." <laughs> and I was like, okay, Ooh. she's in my group. I'm impressive. I'm putting the moves on this girl. So, 
we had we go to this physical course thing and it was like a tire swing and she was I, i'm standing there next to her right and it was a line to go and i had like I, I had my arm around her i was chilling i was like are you ready i was like i'm about to impress you i'm about to look cool da, 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 da. she was like all right i'm excited <laughs> Really about to impress her. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, I line up. The instructor goes, Here, here's the rope. Swing across. So I grab the rope, right? And I look back and then I go, Watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, so I try to swing, right? And my foot slips. So instead of like swinging to the other side, I, I land face first in the dirt in front of this <laughs> girl, bro. <laughs> Did you actually say watch this? Bro, no, I literally said I said watch this because she was cute. She was a oh she was a shorter God. black girl and she was cute. I was like watch this because I had watch no game in elementary school, so I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so I laid on my face and I had to. So the way I I, I had to go about this in my head, I was like, all right, we gotta process this real quick. Do something, do something. So the way in my head is like, I'm gonna make it seem like I got really hurt. And like I messed up because I was hurt, so I was like, "Ah, oh, my ankle! I need to go somewhere. Help!" <laughs> and she was like, "Are you okay?" Oh my gosh, I I literally had to sit out the rest of the day because I acted like I hurt my ankle. Let's just say I didn't Watch take this. the girl. I didn't take the. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh. All right, we have any more childhood memories you guys want to talk about or what? I got a bunch. Nah. <laughs> nah, you guys good? You want to move on? <laughs> we, you guys want to move on? Yeah, we can do whatever. Yeah, I guess we'll move on. So the second subject that we're going to talk about is high school memories. I'll start off. So last year, I mean... Right now, we're seniors. All of us, we're going to be seniors. But in junior year, I think it was, <clears throat> I remember, you know, going into the cafeteria with you boys, you know, just chilling with the boys. And, like, I remember, like, remember when we, um... Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, think, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But we were on, like, we were just sitting down. We looked to the sides. We see boys doing push-ups. They're just, like, people doing oh. push-ups. Like, like, what the... Oh, man. <laughs> Like, what the, what the hell? Why are they doing push-ups? And then there was this army recruiter guy, and like we went over there. Well, you know, I'm I'm like I would say I'm the most embarrassed of you know my friends. I don't really like to participate in stuff like that. You know, seeing everyone watching me and everything. But I remember like, you know, Ian he kept on being like, Alex, come on, yo, come on, come on, you know. So we go over there. <laughs> And like the army guy, he he says stuff like, "What do you say?" He said like, "There's like a bunch of stuff on the table. Like, like you do a certain amount like of pushups." Like yeah, a like a hat. Yeah. yeah. So like, we go over there and like, like I think Renil asked the question. He was like, "How much for this or something?" And he was like, "You know," he told him. And so you know, they they eventually made me go up there, you know, because you know they're my best friends. So I went up there. You oh, know. I'm sorry. <laughs> we all start doing the freaking pushups. And I think I earned, like, I think I got, like, an army hat or something like that. I remember. It was just really, really a crazy experience because, you know, it's not something that you usually do in <laughs> high school. I remember. Do you remember the rest I of the I think I gave you, I gave you the hat, too, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> do you remember the part where there was that dude, right? The, the, the like, muscular oh, black yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Renil, Renil was doing his push-ups or something. Oh, I think he, he like, challenged he, you. It was you, bro, because you had you had got the oh. last hat. He's like, oh, yeah, he's like, look, was look like, at this skin. He was like, the dude was like, this man came over. He was like, oh yeah, I'll do, I'll uh, challenge you some pistols for the hat. And you were like, nah. I'm I was good. like, hell no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. no way, no way. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, that was just a really, really funny thing. Yeah, I was really scared, dude. I thought he was like about to punch me or something. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, I'll, I'll challenge you for some push-ups. I was like, oh, hell no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just, I remember I gave Ian the hat. It was okay, really, really I still cool. have it. I was wearing it. I wear it, like, all the time. I wear it. Yeah. My hair is, like, a hotness. So, every day of my life, you know. That was just, like, a memory that, you know, I never thought would happen. I never thought, like, 
it sounds stupid, but I never thought that I'd actually like step up and go up there, you know. <laughs> it was very fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else you guys got? What's up? Uh, I remember when I first met Alex. <laughs> oh man. Oh, no. <laughs> so, in sophomore year, well, me and Renew became friends in freshman year, and I'm yeah, way before me. So in sophomore year, me and Renew happened to have the same lunch period. So we were sitting and we were talking. And this kid and his girl come walking up. And I'm like, what was this douchebag coming to me, bro? <laughs> that was, I don't even remember I was this. Like, what? I was like, Renew, who is that? Yeah, I think and I was getting my lunch. Renew, Renew turns around and goes, yo, what's up, Alex? And I was like, who's Alex? Ew, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, swear, guys, I'm not a douchebag. I, I was swear. like, this dude looked like a jerk, and I don't, I don't know, I don't remember what I said, but I remember getting the craziest side eye from Alex. I don't remember <laughs> what I said, what? but he said, <laughs> and he turned back to reveal. He goes, yeah, da, 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 da. and can you come over here for a second? I gotta talk to you. I was like, oh, for real? It's like that. I gave Renew like this intense look. Like, oh, you over here? You're not friends no more. <laughs> <Like>, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was Alex at the time, but like later that summer, I would find out that Alex would be like a cool dude. Yeah, <laughs> with yeah. the Reese's pops. <laughs> you know yeah, the Reese's pops. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really really funny. Oh my god. Yeah, that's. I really don't remember that, and it's crazy how things turn out in life. You know, like just like how Ian said, like he thought I was some random douchebag or something you know like, now he's a douchebag who's become one of my closest friends yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically basically oh yeah. man it was all because of Renil because i think i met you because we were playing like when i met Renil. yeah we were talking we, we played 2k oh. we played like duos oh. I, like those <laughs> twos on the court i think Renil yeah, like, knows but i don't think you know it was when Ian was you on yeah, I had gone to London for Explorers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember, yeah. <laughs> I, I, he was like, he was like, I was like, do you have a third or anything? He was like, I got someone. He's in London. <laughs> 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 I was good? suck at two. Uh, yeah, I was, he's pretty I decent. Like, oh. oh, I think I came back. I came back. I didn't tell. I told Renew when I was coming back, like way before I had left. But he didn't remember when I was coming back. So I had came back and I was here. But for a good three days, I didn't tell him I was here. So I was like, I always had my Xbox on a pair offline. So I walked. <laughs> I joined her in this park to see what this was. I was like, why is he playing park? Who is that? I, I was hop on. I hop on. And he's running down the court with his red afro. And I'm like, what? Yeah, and, yeah. Who is Dasher King? Who is this dude? I was like, <laughs> I took a picture and sent it to you and then hopped off real quick. <laughs> Oh my god, what? I was like, no huh. so you got a new tunes partner? I bet. <laughs> Block. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, that's crazy. What about you, Renil? Anything? High school um, memories? Yeah, I remember this one time. I was with Alex. It was like summer of sophomore year. We went to the we went to the gym. There was there had like oh a spree, my god. The spree no Planet way. Fitness membership for teens. <laughs> We went with our friend Yantra, so we walked to the gym. We're there for oh. like probably fifteen minutes. We're doing the bench press. <laughs> Yantra <laughs> slide on the plate. Alex takes him <laughs> off. He's like, "I don't know how to do this. This workout looks kind of gay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right." I remember. Yeah. So we go to the. We get finished with that. We go to the dumbbells. You see, we walk past all these buff guys with like all the heavy dumbbells and stuff. You start doing curls. Alex picks up the tens. <laughs> he starts curling. He says he drops him. I can't do this anymore. I have to go. I, I'm sorry. I have to go. I, I, I have to leave. I freaking left. We leave the stranded yeah, at the gym, <laughs> like by ourselves without even coming back. Text me later. Hey, I just I, ju I just walked back to the school. How are you guys doing? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he just left us at the gym. Yeah. Yeah. So. At t at the time, you know, what was this? This was like what sophomore year, summer. Yeah, He's that was the first summer. time I've ever. Yeah, that was this. That was the first time I ever went to like 
an actual unit. <laughs> and obviously, it's intimidating when you see a bunch of buff guys everywhere. I remember that, yeah. It just, you know, I was embarrassed at the fact, you know, where I'd be benching, like, or I'd be, like, you know, dumbbelling 10s and stuff, you know. I, I don't even weigh that much. How much do I weigh? I weigh, like, 130 right now, around there. But, yeah, I just remember it was a scary experience, so I just said, you know what, <laughs> screw this. <laughs> I freaking left. I remember. I left, and I felt really bad. I was like, oh, I don't know. I told you no don't one was watching. Like, no one cares. No, like, I told yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I get that now. Like, I no get one, that now. No one really cares what don't you Don't let fool you either. This man will go to the bench and show you up with the slightest bit of hesitation, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah. Like Renil act like he don't show up, but if he has the chance, he'll be like, "Oh, let me make this kid look bad real quick." Yeah, but not bragging, but I benched more than DeAndre that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that day, obviously like every day. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're cool. You're cool. Obviously, right now, you know, I don't have a problem with going to the gym and stuff. Right now, I mean, I think Renil. A lot because you know he's helped me a lot with my self confidence and stuff like that. But I remember, yeah, back then, you know, I think <laughs> we all face you know challenges like that. But you know, yeah, it was. Uh, a I, re- I remember like you had given me like a whole interview before we went to the gym. We were like we were planning to go yeah. the next day. Like, yeah. What should, what should I wear? Should I wear my Nikes? Um, should I wear a water? <laughs> should I bring a water bottle? Like, Dude, no yeah, yeah. The gym. <laughs> bring a water. Because it was freaking. <laughs> You know, it's the first time ever doing something like that. I just wanted to be prepared. But, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was really embarrassing for me. I just think that's your personality. You that. remember when your mom came up to me? Well, what happened? My mom? Like, I think that was what? when I first met your mom. Like, I was already uh... at the gym. I was going to meet you up. Your mom dropped you off. She had to sign you up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> She, she remember, came up yeah. to me. She was like, make sure he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. She like threatened you. He's a good hand. Yeah. He's a yeah, good kid. What were you saying, Ian? What were you saying about personality or something? That's just your personality. Like, I think you're uh, you're a really talented dude and all that. But like, you, yeah. you have to get past like this initial barrier where it's like, I once I do this, I can keep doing it. Cause I I I'm, I was the same way when I was younger. But like, right, right, right. Tell me with that. But, yeah. But once you do something, you just keep on. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's that's always been something I think, you know, everyone goes through just passing that barrier. But They're yeah, big. I'm I'm really nervous sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we you know, night to remember. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Speaking of night to remember, yeah, that's our that's our next subject. So homecoming. So we're gonna uh. talk about we're gonna talk about homecoming. This was homecoming in what junior year? Was it junior? Yeah. 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 Oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah. This is an embarrassing so, time for me. <laughs> before we before we actually start off with homecoming itself, let's start off with like the planning and everything. Uh. I remember. <laughs> I remember like at home, like before homecoming started. I thought I was going to be, like, the man. You guys knew that. Like, you knew how cocky I was before. You were showing up. Like, they hear about it every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I remember we're at Macy's or something. (laughs) I'm going to pick out my collared shirt. I choose to pick out my freaking... The the pinkest, the hottest, brightest, pinkest freaking shirt <laughs> on, the, on the rack. I thought I would look the best on that, yo. I remember, like, I went to the dressing room, put everything on, and I sent a picture to you guys. Looking all cool. I was like, I was like tongue out damn. Look at me with my tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> my tongue out was that me. Yeah, the gold Dude, chain. Yeah, Test on yeah, button. Yeah. <laughs> Later on, like I look at the picture and my freaking tag is out. Remember the light, the the tag was out, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was like me before. And we had people was rate us. Like, like yeah, at the football yeah, yeah. game, you would go. Oh my god, no, on. not the football game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you can talk about that. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, so man. you know, me and Renil. Obviously, I'm here being all cocky and everything. I, I guess I deserve it. So, like, he challenges we, we me. He's go like, up to, like, he's like, hey, I think my homecoming outfit is better than yours. Let's go up to some girls and ask them what they think. <laughs> you know, he's like, I've never heard this. I've never heard because I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. I love, like, we go up to some girls. <laughs> yeah. We go up to some girls and, like, I start being, like, really shy and everything. And he's like, come on, Alex. Like, oh, okay. Who do you think looks better in this picture? 
you know what they say? Of course. They're like, Renew, obviously. I was like, oh my God. You know what I, you know what I told him? <laughs> better like, body, better fit. Oh, better body, better fit. I was like, oh my God, this man, yo. I was like so embarrassed, dude. But yeah. Yeah, I love I, the I think um, Snow Cone liked your outfit. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't even remember who that is, dude. It's uh, Ringo. Rainbow? Rango. What? Rango. Skinny. skinny. Skinny light oh, skin. Oh. Snow cone. I I kind of have an idea. Yeah. yeah. But JC. that's another thing about us. We like we make nicknames for girls, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like I'll you know, obviously not to not to hurt anyone or anything, but you know, it's they, easy to we do it because it's easy to remember and also, you know, like Except people won't know what we're talking about yeah but yeah that was a pretty funny moment yeah okay what about you guys have any memories uh, before the homecoming I actual mean, yeah uh, <laughs> it's, 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 ah, it's kind of it's, it's embarrassing to talk about but uh i wasn't gonna go to homecoming because i don't i don't like dances like that but uh i had gotten to this new class right and there was a girl and i was like huh so I started talking to her, you know, talking about to, I started talking to her, and my plan was, I'm going to talk to her enough until when we get to homecoming, I'm going to ask her. So I talked to her up, and skip forward a couple weeks, I finally asked her to homecoming, right? And, and I put, the, like, my sister helped me put together this big, elaborate plan, and Renil too, because Renil was on the, the, on yeah. the boat with me before, like, 30 minutes before I was about to do it. And it was funny, too, because... Renew, my my mom was like, Renew can get a date. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and it was funny to me, but I, I ended up asking her in like this elaborate style. I'm not gonna say how I, I asked her, but it was elaborate. I never would have thought this way on a sister. And like for like the next day, bro, she like was like, I don't I don't know. I might have to do something like this or something like this or this or this or this. Or this. And I was like, huh. Yeah. So I get on the I get on the phone with Renew. Renew can be like really bad luck or really good luck. Today he was bad luck. <laughs> I, get I get a text. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go. I'm sorry. I'm really oh, sorry. Oh, I remember that. I was, I was like, I was Dude. like, whatever. So <laughs> me, I was like, I was like, I'm still gonna go with my boys because they're my boys, but Mm. More mainly because I uh, paid for my ticket already. <laughs> but <anyway. laughs> oh. that was a good five dollars, <laughs> dude. I forgot to talk about the. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. Gosh. Another thing before homecoming, there was this girl that I was. <laughs> there was this girl that I was talking oh. to at the time. Yeah. What? <laughs> I was talking to her, and you know, sh- we were dating and everything. I remember, and I bought her ticket to the homecoming. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I bought I bought her a ticket to the homecoming. I remember it so much, and like, you know, at first I thought things were gonna work, and over time, I you know, things just don't work out. And I remember, this is like the worst I've felt in my whole life, yo. Like, bef- like it wasn't like a day or two, but it was like a time right before you know the homecoming i said hey look i don't know if we should you know go to homecoming together i was like i felt so bad dude like and it i'm not like i'm not like a douchebag or anything you know i said hey look we can still go as friends and everything and you know we can you know i'm not saying that you have to give me the she asked me she felt so bad she was like do you want me to give you the ticket back to homecoming i was like no i was like no way you can keep that i want you to have fun and everything oh. and we actually did see her at the homecoming you know and we actually had fun i mean it wasn't awkward. awkward well it was kind of awkward uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was worse for me i don't know what i don't know i don't know you because i think you looked away at the time but like we were at the door like after remember when we took all our pictures when i first got there and we were just take, we were taking pictures so when we lined yeah, up at yeah. the door like to to go in i saw the girl i had asked at the oh. Oh. oh, and I was like, "Damn!" And she turns around and looks me in my eyes, and I go, "Huh?" So it's like uh, that. Uh, <laughs> it's like Dang, that. That sucks. Yeah. Renee, you have anything before the homecoming? Before homecoming, no, not really. Like anything, like 
you were planning something, any memories like that? If not, that's cool. Oh, no, I never asked anyone that. Not really? This year. Take All right. <laughs> Making me spend All right. 50 bucks for some pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Banana so. All right, so I guess we should start. I guess we should start talking about the actual homecoming day. So uh. <laughs> we we met we we well we met up with each other at homecoming. We Remember when you, me and you? <laughs> oh, we went like back to the dumpster. We met up, me and Renew. We met up like we were we were finding a place to meet up. Like we were texting, and we were like we were, like we're near a dumpster. So we met up at like a dumpster. <laughs> all of us <laughs> we met up near some trash, you know. So stupid. And I remember we were stalling before we got in, you know, because you know it's obviously we were all nervous and everything. But like before that, we took some pictures. We took some pictures. Yeah, we we actually took. We, there was like some people that came by and we asked if you know. I gave them my phone. I was like, hey, can you take some pictures of us? And that, those were really really cool. Like, I love those pictures so much. I remember that. And then, then we go inside and I mean, <sighs> oh man, you know, homecoming. I think is overhyped. I think people, yeah, you know, was... they lead up. I think, you know, and it's okay because it's high school, but, you know, everyone's like, yo, you want to go to homecoming? It's going to be so cool and everything. I remember the second that we went in there, like, and we actually, like, went inside and listened to the music. It was not anything, you know, is this? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's like it was so sad. girls dancing in the cafeteria <laughs> <laughs> with their Chick-fil-A Chick sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cons, like, like, the homecoming... It was, I guess it was, like, not sponsored, but I guess it was, like, Chick-fil-A. It had something to do with it. I remember, like, right. bef like going to the, like, outside the cafeteria or whatever, the hallway, and we would eat, like, chicken sandwiches. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, you get what you pay for. <laughs> like, a $5 ticket. Yeah. Freaking $5. It was $5, <laughs> like, the sandwich, I remember. Man, the spite. Yeah. yeah, and, like, the, you know, the drinks and everything. <laughs> yeah. It was, I remember from what I remember, it was really, really hot. Like, it was really yeah. hot inside there. Because it was in the cafeteria. It wasn't in, like, in the auditorium or whatever, mm. you know, whatever the other place is called, you know. Yep. And, it, like, everyone's, like, crowded up. Everyone's crowded <laughs> up. Remember that? Everyone was, like, all crowded up. They're all in one form. I remember yeah. the DJ taking, like, half the whole floor. Like, why? Yeah, yeah. Like, and, you know. I think if we never even, you know, went there with each other, I think I would just be one of those guys that just stand in the corner by themselves <laughs> listening to this music, <laughs> being all sad. But even though it was sad, you know, we still had fun. Like, there'd be, you know, obviously some songs that we liked and everything. Remember the circle, guys? You remember the circle? I don't even bring up the story. Dude, the freaking circle. I remember, like, we were dancing in the circle and everything, and then Renio, he got pushed in. <laughs> <laughs> some guys pushed him into the circle. Where. He's dancing with some. He's dancing with some dude. Remember? It was and then you tried to get back I, in. I you tried in. to get back out. Like you tried to get back out yeah, of the circle, yeah. and we pushed you back in. That was so hilarious. I think we literally like puppy. Yeah, I got out eventually. Make sure you couldn't get out. Like if you ran the one side, we run back and push you in. Yeah, nah, that was the, dude. I think I slid in my way through. I got out of that. <laughs> that, that was really, really funny. Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, like the main thing that makes Ugh. this homecoming crazy is because, so we call it we call it night to remember. No, you gotta leave. You gotta, you gotta the background. You gotta you gotta put the background. I will, in. I will, I will, I will, I will. But yeah, we call it we call it night to remember because the ticket. The, the homecoming ticket was called Night to Remember. There it is. <laughs> Renew, really, you're showing the ticket. Right? You're showing it's the like ticket. It's like all right busted up, but I still kept yeah. it. Send me a picture of that. Send me I a picture of that. I'll post is. that. Yeah, I'll post that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyways, before any of this, I guess I'll give you some background. Um, There was this girl that, you know, it's always a girl, honestly. All these memories, it's always a girl. But I was, Eesh. you know, I was talking to some girl. And there was, she was in my Spanish class. Let's just call her. What do you guys want to call her? We have a name for her. I don't remember who this was. Post-it note. I do remember. Post-it note. Yeah. I, we call her post-it note because we used to flirt in class. Like, she would write a post-it note full of freaking hearts or some crap. Post-it. We sat next to each other. Put it on my binder or something. But, yeah. I remember we went in, right? 
And so we're just, you know, we, we were chilling and everything. It was like kind of like, you know, we're both interested, but nothing really happened from it. But yeah, so we're just dancing, right? We're at homecoming. We're dancing, you know, with the boys, everything. She freaking texts me. She texts me. She was like, like, or no, no, I text her because I saw her. Remember, boys? Because you were a punk. Oh, yeah. I was like, go up to I her. Saw her. <laughs> I saw her. I freaking ditched out. I was like, hell no. You know, you know that feeling. You know, if you know what I'm talking about. And so I text her. I say, I see you. <laughs> I <laughs> saw you. <laughs> I see you. I said, I saw you. I see she has her. She takes her phone out. Like, <laughs> she takes her phone out and she's like looking everywhere. She's like, she's like, what? Where are you? And I was like, I don't know, because I didn't want to say anything, because I'm here wearing a freaking bright, bright pink, <laughs> bright pink shirt. And yeah, so we eventually see each other. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's just how it is. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, we're just partying, you know, dancing and everything. And yeah. I remember when homecoming was over, that's when things started to go down, y'all. Ian, you can, you can go ahead. Oh, you want to finish that? All right. So, um. Yeah. Sometime in between, like, homecoming, we had, like, split up. Like, I had gone, because I have, I'm friends with a lot of people around the school, just because just I'm, like, a social person. And I had gone off, and I had come back to Alex and Renew. And Alex was like, yo, she's trying to go to dinner with me. Her, her cousin, and her friend. And I was like, what? I was like, I, in my head, I was like, I want nothing to do with that, bro. Nothing. Yeah, I did not I, want I was, to go. I was like, I was, I was talking to, I was talking to somebody at the time. I was like, no. Nah. I'm good. So Alex goes, nah, 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 nah. You, you boys gotta go. I'm gonna call my mom. So he calls his mom or something like that. I call my mom. Yeah. And, he, and she's like, she's like, Alex, it is like 11 o'clock. I am not getting up to take you. She's freaking <laughs> mad at me. I remember it. She was so <laughs> mad at me. And his, you guys live like a decent amount away from where we, we were going to Rundle Mills, right? To the, around the casino. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> that's maybe like 15, 20 minutes. So I live much further than they do. I live a good 30 minutes away. So yeah. my dad had yeah. dropped me off at homecoming and went to go see my sister. And my sister lives like a good hour away from my house and an hour and 30 minutes away from the school. And I call him, I go, hey, Alex, I got you. Don't even worry about it. So I call my dad, I go, hey, can you come and take us to the Cheesecake Factory? And he was like, what you mean? I was like, well, my friend is trying to talk to this girl, and I'm trying to be a good friend. You said that? Are you so, serious? Yes, I said oh that. My God. Oh, man. He was like, he was like, what you mean? He was like, <laughs> I was like, well, he is stupid. <laughs> He's stupid. Oh, my God. And he was, I can't believe you actually said that. My like sister, my, it, wasn't even, it wasn't my dad who, who answered the phone. It was my sister. And my sister was like, well, yeah, sure, I'll come. If it's still open, I was like, yeah, it's still open. But she was like, all right, I'm coming. So I was like, cool. Alex, I got you. So it's... And my dad shows up instead. Because I remember they were like, they're like, where are you guys? And I was like, uh, Alex, tell them we'll be there soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. My dad shows up. And I have to I have the awkward introduction. Because my dad's met Renew, but he's never met Alex. So he's like, my dad, my dad's an intimidating dude. So I was like, how do I go about this? I remember this? it so much. <laughs> so this, we get in the car, and it's a silent car ride all the way to where we were going to dinner. So we finally get there, and they're already there, and we're chilling. Renil, <laughs> pick it up from here, Renil. From when? Just pick it, just pick it up from, from when, here. From when so we got there. Yeah, we get there. When, when we get there. They've been reserving. Remember. They've you been remember, reserving. I remember everything. <laughs> I remember, like, the girl, right? They they went there like a couple hours before. They were, oh, they, they were there about, like almost the three hours before us. The waiter. They reserved the freaking seat for like two hours because we were so, so late. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, and we go in right, Renil. Okay, you remember or no? You still need help. about the waiter and the, you, <laughs> the mozzarella. Yeah. If you need yeah. help, we're yeah. still we're still we're still here to like fill in the pieces for yeah. you. Yeah. Well, like yeah. the wait the waiter comes over and he's kind of a little sus. I think you should uh, <laughs> tell him like, how you played me first. We, we, like, we start ordering our food. Everybody gets, like, their meal and everything. Oh, and Alex, oh my. We already spent. Tell him about the seats. Tell him about yeah, the seats. Yeah, tell him how you guys Where played me, bro. Played oh, me like the, a violin, the whole, bro. <laughs> like, me and the Alex were on, like, one this. side. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a circle table. Was, like, with the girls. 
Yeah, because it was like a, like a half oval table, so they had yeah. So it was only a space for two of them on the other side, and they sat me with all three of the girls, and they <laughs> continued to text me over the dinner. Like what? Yeah, we were we were all just Dude. in a group chat, just like, oh, what do I do? What do we do? The whole point of this whole thing was to get me close to the girl, and when we get there. She's sitting in the middle of the two girls. And I'm thinking, you know, like, why would you sit in the, like, obviously the reason we're doing this, you know, is for me and her. Why would you sit in the middle of your two girls, you know? You end up sitting next when, to me. Why don't we sit next to each other, you know? So, yeah, we get there. We freaking, like, obviously we talked about the the seating. Me and Raniel were on one side. Ian was left stranded on the other side. And we're just like, what? you like, he was he was like game like he was like freaking out mm-hmm. on chat. I remember we were all freaking out on like we had like our little group chat with our phones. It was just like crazy. All right, keep going, Renew. <clears throat> so we were starting to order our food. Well, first it was like really awkward. Me and Alex weren't saying like anything. Ethan was just like talking the whole time. <laughs> I mean, like I didn't really care because I wasn't trying to get with any of them anyways. I to yeah. And then <laughs> and the waiter comes over. He gets our. Just our orders. Everybody gets their food and everything. <laughs> Me and Alex were like, uh, we'll take the uh, the mozzarella sticks. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you'll take it as an appetizer. I said, no, we'll, I'll we'll, take we'll it take as a meal. We'll take an entree. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll take an entree one. for a meal. I mean, we already Remember, have like a we're in high school. sandwich. We're in freaking high broke. school. We don't got jobs or anything. We're all broke. We're commissary <laughs> baggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we ordered the mozzarella sticks yeah keep going Renew. <laughs> oh my and God. then he gives us the food and then i think I, like he gave me mine first i started eating already the girl said i'm pretty sure the girl said something to me They're like, wow <laughs> you're not even gonna wait i'm like oh shoot my bad and then <laughs> we just push it to the side <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap it up here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this podcast. I mean, it's it's pretty long, was it? Like, we're on 45 minutes already. But hopefully you guys enjoyed our embarrassing moments and stuff. I definitely have. Because <laughs> some of the stuff that we talked about, we didn't even, like, know ourselves. So, but yeah, we'll we'll do more in the future, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Peace.